Go. Yeah. Welcome to the next part. Uh, Jeffrey from PS2, and what position are we in right now? Uh, game five. Game five. Are we in first place or what? Yeah. And we're doing pretty good so far, and uh, despite the fact we've been getting tough blues here and there, but. I think we'll be able to turn this into another win, and I forgot what the other computer players have, but let's just get right back to it. Alright. Player 2 has $7,000, and Player 3 has 8400 So that's about 6000 trailing. Well, I hope they won't catch up, because they're all going to go home. For the crap little case of crap color and spray diarrhea with poop nuggets. U.S. cities for 1,200. This Florida city was named for our seventh president, who led the fight to take Florida from the Spanish. Precisely. Back again. In 1806, 100 years after its founding on the Rio Grande, this New Mexico City had only a few thousand people. Santa Fe. What is... Santa Fe? No, and I am sorry. No, it's not. That not be true for consequences. What we were looking for was this. Oh, the cookie. Oh, well, 2,000. Ranked as the nation's largest inland port, this Pennsylvania city is home to Carnegie Mellon University. What is Pittsburgh? Exactly. Oh, Pittsburgh. Player two, what'll it be? Be a salami swami for 1,200. The word salami comes from the Latin word for this compound that's also known as sodium chloride. What is salt? That's it. Oh, I was thinking of that. Player three, it's your sodium turn. Sodium chloride. Let's salt. try art for 800. In 1912, this 30-year-old Spaniard began incorporating business cards and wallpaper into his paintings. Yes. Yep. Player one, it's your the turn. The Islami Swami, our electors left. I'd be surprised if a daily double finds in there. This culinary term for the way a salami is aged sounds like you're healing it. This is the correct question. Curing. Cubed salami is oh, often served as a is. part of this Italian dish, whose name means before the meal. What is antipasto? Correct. Hmm. Player three, you choose. Literature for 800. In this H.G. Wells novel, the first Martian spaceship lands near the town of Woken. What?
I'm gonna go long on this. It's 1984. No, too bad. What is the War of the Worlds? Right, pick again. Oh. I'll take literature for 1,200. Tom Canty, born in a slum called Ophel Court, and Edward Tudor are the title characters in this Twain novel. What? Yes. Yeah. Player one, your turn. Well, let's hope a daily double is there in 1600 literature. In this Orwell novel, Mr. Charrington, who runs an antique shop, is actually a member of the Thought Police. 1984? What is 1984? Yes, indeed! Oh my god! Player two? I said I've run in! Art for 1200? The setting of this American Gothic artist's midnight ride of Paul Revere looks like Iowa. Not Boston. Oh. Who was the American Gothic payment? Uh. Oh, that's right. Brent Wood. Nice about that. Oh, Grant. Yes! Found it. Player one, what'll it be now? Daily Double's gotta be in the $2,000 literature. And I was right! Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Now, here's the recap. I'm in the lead with 16,400, player 2 has 10,600, and player 3 has $12,400. Okay, here's the clue. He wrote Brave New World. Right. 16. The oh no, I know where the other one is. Troubled 19th century Dutch artist. Okay, here's the clue. Who was Vincent Van Gogh? That's it. Oh, and now uh, he got the final now daily to double. complete this round. Answer, the Daily Double. Player two, your wager, please. 7,600. Okay, here's the... Oh, boy. Beginning in 1728, this British satirist painted a scene from the Beggar's Opera in several versions. Who was Thomas Gainsborough? No, that's not... Ha -ha. Right. So, here's what we were looking for. It was really hard golf. Hey, it does down to 4,600. And that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. I'm in the lead, 20,000 bucks. Nice work, player one. You're in the lead right now. Huh? Huh? Aww. 4,600 and 12,400. boy. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category, That's and then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. Yes, monkey? Museums. Museums. Go ahead, make your wager. 20,000. 4,600 and player 3 has 12,400. Sorry. 
Zippo. If I know it, oh, I don't know it. Here's the clue. Good luck. Thank you. The Conspiracy Museum opened in this Texas city in 1995. Oh I was hoping I would have to half of it. But, you know, computer 3, computer Let's number see if 3 is going to get question. it wrong. Player 2, your question. Dallas. Player 2, I see that you like to live dangerously. But you're right. Way it to go. It was Dallas. Your question, player three, was... <laughs> Houston! Incorrect, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Let's see what that'll cost you. That'll lose all of it! Oh, sorry. Your question, player one, was... Dallas, and I'm white. Correct! What was your wager? It's no wager half, but that's all right. We still won the game. All to be commended for your play. Congratulations to our big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. And with the half of Aubrey on the site, he got us to twenty thousand dollars and then make it five days when the grand total of a hundred six thousand four hundred dollars. See you next time for another exciting game of Jeopardy. Bye, Alex, and I'll see you all in Jeopardy PS2 Game 6.